So these should be well, these should be live and working. We apologize for the chaos a little bit. We had a bit of a late setup. Oh, I'm right in front of MKC Can you hear me? Testing? All right, cool. And welcome back. On. Okay, I can't hear myself. Hello? Is it on? It could be muted. Can I try it now? Yeah. All right, we got everything set up eventually, except for the bases. And we can have to shoot some pickoff play there. Nice job by the Cougars as we are still getting set up. I'll join Bob. Alright. And we got, there's at least one out. There's two outs? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Alright. I guess I'll, I'll check just to make sure we're actually live.
Tap the button on the bottom and you'll be live again. Wait, so you can't hear me right now. Talk? You Back mean. here, bottom of the first inning. No score, the top half of the Cougars. We apologize. We do apologize here for the delay on MKA TV. But it looked like Jack Emirata, starting pitcher for the Cougars, Get out pitched a clean inning. inning. And leaning off the bottom is Quinn Kyersimo. And he takes that pitch low. From the senior, Carter Nowak. Nowak, 26.2 thirds innings pitched this year, 13 earned runs allowed, 3.41 ERA. If you measure that per seven innings pitched, as Kyrie Smoke rounds that ball to shortstop, easy play over to first, and there's one away. It's nice to have the uh, opposing team's roster and stats for once. You normally don't have that. Yeah, you know, this is their obviously their senior. This is their go-to guy, Gil St. Bernard's. Having a bit of a disappointing season, you know, they did lose to the Cougars in the prep signing final game with the Cougars throwing, thrilling four-run comeback victory. I was presenting the sixth and seventh innings. Yeah, but that was a walk-off win, wasn't it? No, it was not a walk-off oh, win. They were playing at Gill St. Bernard's. Last time ah. the two teams have met twice in a season, you have to go back to 2015, where Gill St. Bernard's took both of those games. As that pitch is fouled away, and the count is 1-1. One one. Beautiful day for a baseball game. It's about... 75 to 80 degrees. Oh, uh, certainly. Almost no winds. Gil St. Bernard's beat made or die, 13 to 3. They mercied them in the first round of the North Jersey non-public B state tournament. The that was coming, back at home. I believe the Cougars are coming off a big win too. I'd have to double check that. Well, the Cougars beat Verona a couple days ago with yes. the home run from Nick Lembo. They had the bye this year. Last year they suffered a heartbreaking loss in the first round of the state tournament. To Morris Catholic, who eventually went to the semifinals. They beat the Cougars on the 
The robbed home run. Oh, the robbed home run, exactly. Okay. As that pitch is caught on a miss, Amarada strikes out, throw over the first, and there are two away. Jonah Barbin had an amazing call on that game. Yes, I believe Jonah Barbin did have an amazing call at that game. Got a lot of exposure. It's quite unfortunate that he's not here with us today, but he is certainly with us in our hearts here at MKTV. As he will have a fabulous career. Here's John Testa. The new captain's got a home run in the season, hitting over 400. Recently as broke, he takes that pitch for a ball. Recently broke the MK single season stolen base record. That is right. He broke that on senior day, too. Uh, I against Payne Tech. He, he tied it on senior day. He broke it the next game. It was, it was, it was a good ending. He, he tied the record, stealing home to uh, end the game with the mercy. Really? Yeah. That's unbelievable. As curveball is cut on a miss. Good pitch from Carter Nowak. Look at Carter Nowak's arsenal. He's not a big guy. He's only six foot, I believe, but you know, he's got, he can mix speeds very well. As you can see with the Cougars here in the early going, they're struggling to piece some things together as that pitch is taken high from John Testa. Looked like a curveball up. Did the Cougars face him the first time they played him? Looking yeah. at that now. As that close pitch is taken for a ball and the count is run full. Nowak working Fairly slowly from the windup, John Testa looking to get on base, make him work from the stretch. Here it comes, ground, ground ball over to third base. Easy hop throw is high and there's a collision and Testa's safe at first base. Everyone appears to be okay. Yeah, that's always seems to be the biggest concern, but. Bit of a, a wild play over there. Some acrobatics from the first baseman, but to know that. So two out runner on first base, that'll bring up Nick Lembo. Lembo had a towering home run against Verona in his last at bat. Looking to build off that, he looks to get a run in. And speaking of your point, Ethan, did Nowak pitch in the first game? He did not. It was actually Logan Mott who pitched in the first game. He ended up coming with the loss. Possible. Another senior. Yeah, possible we see him if, if Nowak is relieved. Lembo takes that downstairs for a ball. See Nowak working in a lot of off speed early to start this game. There goes Tessa, Tessa goes, pitch is taken for a strike, test throw down, and Tessa's safe. You mentioned the stolen base record. Yeah, he's currently building onto that, as you can see in the first inning. Got a lot to show. Still a long season left. If the Cougars can extend it here today. One on one count to Lembo. Good take from Lembo. That pitch looked just a bit inside. Do we know who the Cougars would play if they were to win? Well, it would be the winner of the, I don't know, two teams going head to head later today. Uh, this is the, what, this is the prep, what is this prep? This is the prep quarterfinal round uh, now. The next round would be the semifinal. Non-public, non-public B quarterfinal. Yeah, Cougars already have a bit of hardware. I, I believe they won, they won Prep B earlier in the year. Right? They did win Prep B earlier in the year with a thrilling three to one victory against Rutgers Prep at Domination. Three run count over to Lembo as they check on Tessa with the pickoff. Bit of a rare he pickoff at second base. He gets back. as Lembo walks. So two runners on now with two outs after Nowak retired the first two batters. And that'll bring up freshman sensation Lucas Seeger. Seeger off to a solid start in the season. I believe one of the few left-handed bats in the Cougar lineup. Lefty hitting catcher as that pitch is taken low for a ball. Seeger, 16 for 60 on the season. That's 267, but he's got a ton of RBIs and tons of run score. That pitch is taken for a ball. 14 RBIs in the season, 13 runs scored. 
Three doubles and a triple. And you would expect a ton of growth as he gets older here at Montclair Community Academy. Chopped over to the pitcher. No whack. Flips it over to first in time. So the Cougars put two runners on with a little bit of a two-out rally, but nothing to prevail at the end of one. Scoreless here in West Orange. Back here, top of the second inning. Aaron ready to go as he delivers a strike. We Matthew Park, the sophomore, to lead it off. Hitting in the fifth hole, Matthew Park with 21 extra base hits on the season. Got 21. Actually, excuse me, he's got 21 hits in the season, 12 singles, nine doubles. So. Really slugging well in that department. Emrod delivers that pitch is driven deep to center field. Rendino going back. That ball is over his head as he lays out. Can't make the play. Park on his horse. Round second. He's heading second, going to third base. Park going to third base. And he will be in there with a stand-up triple. Matthew Park with his first triple of the year against Jack Emerado. And you can see Ethan, that pitch was right down the middle. Yeah, he crushed that. Yeah, Rendino. Pretty good effort on that play, but just not able to come up with it. Yeah, he's been their guy all year in the outfield, and Nina's made every play, just that one hit a little too far. No one out, runner on third base. Cougars decide to bring the infield in. A little bit of an interesting move by Coach Pacifico here early. Only the second inning, scoreless tie. I guess going against the opposing team's ace, one run is going to be so important. That'll get the run in for As sure. That pitch is driven deep into left center field. Going back, Rondino. He makes the catch up against the fence. Run will score. But if you're Jack Emerata and you give up that kind of drive, you'll take that. As it's 1 0 Knights here in the second inning. Let's see. I'm just talking about how Rendino makes almost every play. He made that one. That was not an easy one right up against the wall. No, certainly not. Emrod looks to bounce back as that pitch is cut on missed. Emrod has got to settle things down here as he just gave up two drives. This is Nate Fodor, the senior, as he cuts and misses at the second ball. Nothing in two. Fooled badly on that one. Was definitely expecting a fastball that was way out in front. Here comes the 0-2. Breaking ball, fouled out down the left field line. Voter 18 for 69, seven doubles on the season, no home runs. Fifteen runs scored as that pitch is fouled back. You now it seems like Emirata has been getting ahead so far, but just has not been able to put anyone away as a result.
Another 0-2. Voter takes that pitch low. One, two coming. High break, ball swung out of missed. First strikeout of the day for Jack Amarado, and there are two away. Much needed out there after giving up two drives. Just get your confidence back up. So two out, no one on. That will bring up Tim Park, a freshman, batting eighth. Tim Park, 10 for 44. That's 227, three doubles. No home runs, seven RBIs. This is a guy you definitely wanted to get out. A lot of dangerous hitters on this team. This guy, based on his average, isn't one of them. You can't afford to get a hit here. That pitch is cut on missed. Count is 1-1. Tim Park seems like the guy you know. He's got a pretty long swing, you know. He doesn't have a ton of power. Still pretty young, but he looks like he can do some things in the baseball field, and that's why he's starting here today. I got a ton of speed, the guy yeah. his size. Might have a good glove. We haven't seen him in the field yet. But he's clearly in the lineup for a reason. 2-1 mm -hmm. from Emirata as that pitch is fouled straight back. Onto the track, right behind the baseball field. 2-2, two and two, two away, top of the second. What pitch are you going for, Ethan? Number two on the mound. Straight that pitch is cut on miss. Nice breaking ball from Jack Amarada. So after two long drives in the second, he bounces back. But the Knights get on the board early. After one and a half, it's one nothing Gill. Unmute the Noah delivers. That pitch is in there for a strike. Do you unmute Mike? Noah working more quickly here in the second. Curveball. Taken in there for a strike. And it's nothing in two. Dip, Eli Solomon. Dipped right at the last second. Noah delivers. Solomon chases. That pitch low. Throw over to first base is in time, and there is one away. Nice pitch there. Oh, so are the mics working? They should be. Go 22. One out. One out. Michael 
bronze team. Yeah. What up, twos? Another oh, team senior. Senior captain. Oh. Or one of them. I just fouled away into the Knights bullpen. Out of play. <laughs> 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 one count to Michael Bronstein. What up, really in there for his defense. Yeah, he's also known to make contact as well. He's been reliable in uh, left field for him oh, all year. Oh, my God. Alright, he's got 32 strikeouts in the season. 33 now. Strikeout to Solomon. As he takes, Bronson takes that pitch high and counts. So he's over a strikeout in an inning. It's pretty good rate, I'd say. Takes that curveball high and he's run the count full. Hatcher did a nice job framing that one just at the end, but couldn't get the call. Yeah, but you usually don't get those high. Yeah. Pay off. Bronson takes that high for ball four. Yeah, buddy! Second inning, the Cougars finally have the base runner. You gotta be careful with those high curveballs. Throw it to the wrong guy and it's gone 400 dead center. Well, I'm not sure anyone on the team can hit a 400 dead center. As one out, one on, that'll bring up Max Nussbaum, third baseman. Maybe not 400, but you gotta be careful with those high curveballs. It's Bronson. Yeah, that pitch behind the catcher. Is yeah, Bronson. Max Nussbaum had a spectacular pitching performance against Verona, going six scoreless innings. He's been much better on the mound as of late. We may see him later here today. As Amrata definitely seems to be on pitch count. As that pitch gets away again, and Bronson will go. Yeah, what up, boy? So two straight wild pitches from Nowak, and all of a sudden Bronson moves from first to third. And now all Nussbaum has to do is put a ball in the air. Put a ball in play. Talk to him, Mike. In order to tie this game. Yeah, ground ball to a middle infielder probably gets the run in as well. See if Coach P is trying to put on a play here or is just telling him, make contact. You, you, you've been in this situation. What do you think Coach P is telling him before? I think, you know, he's just telling him, you know, put the ball in play, make something happen, make the defense make a play. You know, in this situation, you know, it looks like the infield's playing back. You want a ground ball off the middle of the field or you want a fly ball somewhere deep. You know? The last thing you want to do is strike out or put a pop-up in the air that's in the infield. <laughs> Two zero. That pitch is taken for a strike. I'm sure, this bound is taken all the way. As he would certainly not let him swing. So Bronstein leads off third. One away. Two one count coming. That pitch is fly to the air to right field. That'll get the run in. This will be close. A little bit of a late tag by Michael Bronstein. Here comes a throw in. It's offline. Boy, Ethan, I think that was a lot closer than it should have been. That was a lot closer. Than that was, you heard me say that'll get the run in as soon as it left the bat. I did not expect it to be that close. Well, you know, two out, no one on. That'll bring up Jake Rendino. As that pitch is taken outside, but you can see that, you know, once the ball hits the glove, you have to go right away. And it seems like Bronstein just head first, right? Yeah, if that throws online, Bronstein's probably out by more than a little bit. On one. Fair ball, a bit of a half swing from Rendino. The count is one and two. Rendino's got a home run this year against Luton. Last freshman to have a home run, you have to go back to Dom Clock. As that pitch is chopped back, the pitcher oh, finished throw. Oh, and Rendino is safe. Oh, On his way to second base throw oh, there. And he gets thrown out. And the Knights escape trouble. And what could have been a total disaster for them. And Rendino's thrown out of second. At the end of. Yeah. That is fast. What year was that? I think, uh, actually, I was wrong. It's not Don Flacco. It's John Sweetwood. Oh, were you on that team? What? No, I was not on that team. 
Dom. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Seems like the guy that would want to steal second and third. Yeah. I think it's Sweetwood. I don't think it's Flacco. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I hear this for a sec? Thanks. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not muted. <laughs> muted. <laughs> Here we go now to the top of the third inning. Jack Emirata. Face the number nine hitter in the Knights order. This is Matthew Lumenthal as he takes a pitch low. This team for Gil St. Bernard's is very senior heavy. They're carrying seven seniors, and five of them are starting in this game. As Amarada quickly falls behind 2 0. And the last thing you want to do, Ethan, is walk the leadoff guy. Oh, uh, yes, leadoff walks will kill you, especially to the number nine hitter. As I mentioned the other day when we covered Payne Tech, as that pitch is grounded up the middle and through for a base hit into the gap. Blumenthal rounds first. He'll take the turn. He's ahead for second. The throw for Rendino is not in time. And Blumenthal is in there with a hustle double. Looks like Rendino might have got caught in between the cutoff man and second baseman. Looks like he wasn't expecting the runner to go to second. He was just going to hit the cutoff man and then saw, saw out of the corner of his eye. He was taking the turn and rushed the throw a bit and missed the cutoff man and the second baseman. Yeah, well, you, you can see that Blumenthal was thinking two out of the box right there, you know. It looked like a line drive smash right by Carissimo. Didn't exactly lay out for that or get the best read. And Rendino. Oh, he can cover some ground in center field, but he's still a freshman out there. He doesn't have the best of arms yet. Blumenthal challenged him and won that race. Senior move by Blumenthal, yes. taking the rookie to school. So early trouble for Emirata. Runner on second, nobody out. Back to the top of the order. Four. The Knights, I'll bring up Christian Mott, who squares the bunt, and he gets hit. That was some Blumenthal back to second base. If you're the Cougars, would you rather have first and second nobody out or third nobody out? Guy still at the plate. Well, you know, if you have a runner at third, it seems certain that you can get the runner in. But if you're the Cougars, you know, you'd rather I think you'd rather have first and second than just man on second because that puts a double play in depth. All you need is a ground ball. See number two hitter now. Zach Wendell. Lefty on lefty matchup for Amarada. Only lefty in this lineup for the Knights. Here comes the pitch. He squares the bunt. It's a pop up. Amarada catches it. And that is an easy first out for the Cougars. Big mistake by Wendell as he makes the first out of the inning on a pop up bunt. So Amarada's got to be careful here. This is. This is Logan Mott. As we mentioned him earlier, I believe that's the pitcher from last game. Right? Yeah, it is the pitcher from last game. He's the third baseman here today. He's got three home runs on the season. See Emirata start him off with an off-speed pitch there, 1-0. Oh. Emirata not going to give in here. Sets and delivers. Curveball is in there for a strike. Down is 1-1. One one. That was a good curveball. Backdoor curveball. Mott is going to see a good dose of those today. Seems like both pitchers have relied on their off speed here early. Fastball in there for a strike. Count is one and two. Pitch looked a little bit low from up here, but you know, if you're low and you're Lucas Seeger, you can frame those and you can get the call. Yeah, yeah, low, and I was thinking a bit inside from our angle, although that's hard to tell. One, two. Check swing, he went around. Big strikeout for Jack Amarada, and there are two away. Get two. 
a Jack Cameron runner just one out away from getting out of trouble. First and second nobody out to first and second two out in four pitches, maybe five. Yeah, five pitches. That pitch skips away from Seeger, allows the runners to move up. So now a base hit into the outfield scores two. John D. Gregorio, you see how deep the outfielders are playing. No chance that they're gonna throw him out at the plate if he gets it there. Yeah, and just a little bloop will score two as well. Got four home runs in the season as M. Rada misses that pitch high. I think that's why the Cougars are playing so deep. They know he's the power guy. If you want the exact numbers, he's got 30 hits and 73 at bats, seven doubles, a triple, four home runs. Good for a 411 batting average, 699 slugging percentage. If you're the Cougars, you don't want to be seeing this guy right now. Not in this situation. Emirata got him to line out to John Testa his last time up as he There's drops that Lembo. into right field. Lembo, however, is there. And that ends the inning. So Emirata gets into a little bit of trouble. Nothing to avail for the Knights at the end of two and a half. We're all tied at one here on MKA TV. Bottom of the third, back to the top of the order now. It's Quinn Kyersimo to lead it off. Quinn grounded out to second base his last time up, and he's swinging first pitch. Cut on, missed. I think on a ball, that is a little bit up. I think we mention this every broadcast, but Kyersimo, one of the four freshmen, I believe, that start for the Cougars. Yeah, and it's usually four that start almost every game. Curveball misses way outside, and the count is one and one. <laughs> <laughs> one one from Womack. That pitch misses up. You know, the funny thing is, Karasimo coming in as a freshman, you know, it's a high school league, right? He used, he used aluminum bats in high school league. He's been using almost a wooden, it looked like he's been using almost a wooden bat throughout his entire career up until this point. As that pitch is chopped over to shortstop. Easy can, play, and there's one away. How can you tell? Do they have a different stance or something? Or? No, it's not the stance, but you know, every time I used to practice with him, you know, he'd carry a wooden bat around and use it all the time when he'd hit in practice. 
Is it a big adjustment going from a wood to an aluminum? I mean, not really. I mean, it's just the weight that's kind of different. So, but obviously, you know, people would pick aluminum bats over taking four strikes every time. As the breaking ball is loaded in there to Jack Amarada for a strike. Amarada struck out swinging his first at bat. Got four home runs on the year. Looking for number five. As that pitch is taken up. And the count is one and one. I'd say that Jack was the MVP of the Rutgers game. Yeah, home run and what, four innings? That pitch is dribbled down the first baseline, throw, and the ball is dropped. And a double in that game, I believe, to drive in another run. So, yes. So, Amarada's on. And that will bring up <laughs> senior John Testa. Probably the MVP of this Cougars team over the course of the year. 100% agree. Pitching and hitting. Yeah, I mean, there's a case for Amarada, but I think you got to go Testa. The, he makes every play, rarely strikes out, drives in a ton of runs, has a high average. Yeah, Tessa's got the highest batting average on the team this season, making the most out of his senior campaign. You'd have to imagine where his career numbers would be had he not missed his sophomore year because of COVID. And had Tommy John surgery as well. Did he miss a year? Cause, or he couldn't pitch, I guess. Yep. As that pitch is taken for a strike. <laughs> I would assume they're going to put Emrod in motion right now with that big leg kick as curveball's taken low. Yeah, John. One and one. As well as the heavy dose of breaking balls, good pitch to run on. <laughs> Had he taken off there, he surely would have made it. Emrod with a slightly <laughs> modest lead at first. <laughs> Creeping going, and he is going. And the pitch is grounded foul by Tessa, and the count is one and two. Picked on a curveball right there. <laughs> And Tessa just fouled it off to the left. <laughs> One two pitch. Emirata leading back toward first. Womack finally paying a little bit of attention to him as he steps off for a second consecutive time. You know, a little bit perturbed here in the bottom of this third inning is Womack. Pitch, Amarada stays put, Testa pops it up. Over to first pace, will that stay in play? It will not, and that will give Testa another life. Here at this West Orange Field, it's a short foul ground, you know. I mean, bigger than MKA's, but still pretty short, you know. Any pop-up that goes down the line foul, you know. Pretty low chance of catching it in general. There's a foul ball that hit a fan when they played New York Academy about a month ago. First pickoff from Womack, and Emrata gets back. Emrata always a threat to go. Not the fastest guy on the team, but very smart base runner. Very high baseball IQ. As that pitch gets away, third time the ball has gotten away from the catcher for the Knights, and Emrata scoots over to second. And with what that does, I mean, with touch of speed, you know, it's very unlikely the possibility of happening, but that takes a double play out of order. And with the base hit, Emerod has a pretty good chance of scoring as well. 2-2 pitch. Curveball taken low, kept in front. Emerod scoots over to third, and he will make it without a throw. So heads up base running by Jack Emerod. And now all Testa needs is a fly ball to get him in. As Womack steps off, and now the Knights will bring the infield in with the game being tied at one here yeah. in the third inning. Now playoff game, one run is a big run. Testa jammed, fouls it away. Go for John Test, the senior, waiting for the payoff pitch. Outside ball four, so Testa works his second walk. And that definitely presents another stolen base opportunity. And, the, and he'll just take second himself. On, yeah. He's going to get into a rundown, a little bit of a pickle here. Emrata going for home, and he's safe. Uh, I believe I know what that was, but Sebastian, you want to explain what went on there? 
Oh, wow. Are they going to call him out? No, they're not calling him out. So you see what happened here. Time was called uh. when the ball went back to the pitcher. And that's what the umpire is saying. And that not only prevents a run, prevents Tessa from going to second base as well. But I believe, Ethan, you know, Coach P is just asking, well, why'd you call time? Like, who called time? Why'd you call time? Yeah, I didn't see a time call. No, I didn't see a time call, you know. You kind of go to back to the discussion of, oh, when are the umpires allowed or not allowed to call time? And I believe, you know, just the umpire just called time on his own. Oh, it was an umpire time. Call it wasn't even a, a guilt time. <laughs> yeah, it was just the umpires called time out, and then uh, the Cougars caught the Knights napping. But a bit of a panic play from the Knights, you know. You, you kind of see them going to second base with the ball. And Womack. You know, just kind of gives it up. Emirata takes off for home and would have been in there relatively easy if the umpire had not called time. <laughs> Bit of a lengthy discussion here as Pacifico seems rather upset. You know, Pacifico's got one of the best baseball minds out there. Uh, he will question his plays if he certainly thinks he has a right to, or if there's very good reason, and certainly here, there is very good reason. I don't hear a time. Yeah, you, you see, Ethan, I don't hear a time either, you know? Like, now the umpires are getting together. They're asking about the play. I never saw time. I mean, I, I don't. I mean, I don't see how time can be called, but I also don't see how this can be overturned, because you know, time was called. The play is already dead. There's no play that. Ha it's technically like if you call time, there's no play that happened. Yeah, I don't see why time should have been called, but I also don't remember it being called. I didn't see. Anything. Okay, they're putting. They're putting Testa at second. They're putting Testa at second base, and that brings out the coach for Gil St. Bernard's. He seems rather upset about that. He has nothing to be upset about. He just caught a massive break. Yeah, he did just catch a massive break. That would have been a run for the Cougars. I mean, he's been upset with the strike calls, strike and ball calls all day, but you know, he seems rather really more upset at this play as he just barged out of the dugout. Now, do, um, do we know why Testa was put at second, but Amarato wasn't allowed to score? That, that doesn't well, make sense I, I, to me. I, I believe that Testa was taking second anyway. So, and, you know, with Testa's stolen base record or anything, they would, he would have taken second anyway. So, I mean, I don't think it really, I don't think it really matters in this case, you know. Well, then I guess we have, to, we have to ask, when was time called? Was time called after Testa rounded first, or was time called as soon as the ball was thrown back to the well, I pitcher? I think time was called, you know, as Testa was rounding first. So, I believe he was already on his way to second base, but he was nowhere there. So, very interesting call here. I'm good. How are you doing? Nice to see you, bro. It's good. Uh, no. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Club. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Me too. You were playing against other You were literally. Oh, 
All right, we are back after a bizarre play. Yeah, it's been a bit of a lengthy delay, but now Lembo ready to step in as he swings at the first pitch and fouls it away. You know, a bit of a lengthy delay right yeah, there, you know, as you know, the Gil St. Bernard's coach was just arguing, you know, oh, I don't want Test at second base. So you got two coaches that are unhappy, one because the run was taken away and one because of the positioning of the runners. As that breaking ball is taken for a ball, it looked like a ball right down the middle, as count is now one and one. Lembo looking to just get a fly ball here, get a ball out of the infield as he swings and misses. Down is one and two. Ethan, I'm trying to wrap my mind around this. What did you see right there? Well, obviously we saw Testa going. Okay, so obviously we know. Oh, is that as Lembo is hit by the pitch and he will take first pitch. Lembo hit by eight pitches last year, only four times this year. But you know, he works his magic right there and that will load the bases for Lucas Seeger. All right, so in case anyone watching didn't understand what happened, John Testa was going to intentionally give himself up to, so that Emirata could score. So John Testa, he walks, and then he rounds second as if he's just stealing second, and Emirata takes off. Emirata scores, and Testa gets a second, but they take the run off the board because apparently the umpires called time. We don't know why they called time. There seemed to be no reason to call time. So the run gets taken off the board, but Testa was still awarded second. So I have no idea what just happened. I feel like it's either you give him second and you give him the run, because that's what should have happened. Exactly. Or you give him first and you keep him keep, keep at third. third. You know, it works out one way or the other. You can't just do one thing, benefit one thing, but not the other. So if, if Testa's at second base, you know, the pickle then happens. So it kind of makes no sense in that regard. Yeah, you can't go halfway. Anyway, for those of you enjoying the broadcast right now, or those of you who are viewing the broadcast, if you are enjoying content or want more MKTV-related content, please remember to hit the subscribe button, as Ethan Kramer and I are very glad to be here with you today. No Jonah Barber, unfortunately. He is down in the city claiming some unfinished business. We do wish him well here from the broadcast, as there's a pickle back to third. Rarely do you see that as Emirata gets back. This is uh, Lucas Seeger at the plate, I believe, looking to drive in a couple of runs. Finally a pitch, as that pitch is taken low from Seeger. The count is 1-0. Oh. If you're Womack, the last thing you want to do is walk Lucas Seeger here. I mean, the guy can swing it, but, you know, doesn't hit for a ton of power. He's not really a home run threat. As that pitch is taken for a ball and the count is 2-0. Oh. Yes, you can't, we, we can't be giving up runs or just giving away runs, and especially in a playoff game. You can't be walking in runs, hit by pitches with the bases loaded. That stuff can't happen. 
and you can't expect to win like that. So we'll see what. Womack comes back yeah. and delivers the strike. If you're Womack right now, you want to get Seeger to put this ball on the ground. You know, make that force play at home, at least get one, keep a run off the board. As that exactly what he does, ground ball to second, over to home, they get the out. No return throw for the double play. So Womack with a big out. And there are two away, and that'll bring up Eli Solomon. Eli Solomon has drastically improved his sophomore season compared to his freshman year. Only hit 200 his freshman year, definitely slugging a lot more this offseason and hitting much better with runners in the scoring position. First pitch is caught on and chopped foul down the first base side. He's put on a lot of weight, a lot of muscle. Yes, I believe him, Max Nussbaum, and Michael Bronstein have been working out together. Yeah, and you can see it's been working really well. As nice stop by the catcher on a spike breaking ball. With Tesla, Down is one and one. With Tesla's speed and aggressiveness, you know he would have been going if that got passed. Oh, 100%. You know, Tesla's not afraid to take anything. And with two outs, you need to go ahead and run to score. Why wouldn't you? I saw him. Ground ball over to pitcher. Gets by him. Over to second base. The ball is bobbled. Here comes Rundle. He will score. Seeger goes over to third base. And boy, do the Cougars get a gift right there. That feels almost justified. Wow. Hey, Eli. After what just happened. A two-run error by Eli Solomon. Or no, Eli Solomon made it with the hit. Second baseman with the two-run error. Who, I, I don't remember who that was over there. Yeah, hey, what? But. Cougars take the lead here in the third. As they should, after what happened. They, you know, that kind of feels deserved. Yeah, you know, after the long discussion by the Gil St. Bernard's coach, Cougars take the lead here in the third on a gift. That would have ended the inning. And wasn't it wasn't a hard hit ground ball or anything? As that pitch is floated into left field, and right there is a left fielder who was playing very shallow. Yeah, that was dropping off the bat for sure. But. At the end of three innings of play, Cougars get two runs in the inning. 3-1 MKA. Yeah, You know, after a very long bottom of the third inning that resulted in like a 15 minute delay because of a discussion at the plate by the umpires, Cougars come back, load the bases, take the lead on an error by the second baseman by the Knights on a little dribbler from Eli Solomon. Ethan, I still can't believe what I just saw, so please take me through that play. Uh, you're talking about the uh, error by the second baseman? Yeah. Uh, Eli Solomon just hit a uh, routine ground ball. That play should be made 10 times out of 10, and second baseman just missed it. You know, that, that's all that happened. Amarada deals a curveball high to the number five hitter, Matthew Park. That appeared to be an easy bounce. It didn't, you didn't like take a sharp right or left turn or anything. You just missed it, and Cougars get two runs off of it. Park is one for one. He was the one with the triple over Rendino's head in the first inning. Amrata is starting him with some off speed here. Probably good that, that he's uh, leading off for the Cougars. You don't want him doing any damage with runners on. Pitch is taken for a strike, and the count is one and two. I mean, if you look at that dribbler from Eli Solomon, it looked like you know, the runner ahead of him, Seeger, may have just crossed in front of him. You know, and that kind of disturbed the second baseman's timing. 
yeah, he just, and his vision in order to field that ground ball. Yeah, you just lose it for a second, and that's all it takes. That pitch is low to Park. The count is two and two. Yeah, Solomon will certainly take it. That's two RBIs. I don't think he's given RBIs if the ball's oh, there. As that pitch is driven into left center field. Nobody's getting that. Ronstein's chasing it. That is well over his head into the gap in left center field. Park streaks around first. He's ending the second base with a head first slide. So after a triple his first time up, a leadoff double for Matthew Park here in the top of the fourth inning. <laughs> You're, you're, you're not giving the RBIs for the error? No, I would not. In? I mean, because they're two outs, you know. They're two outs. So, if, if technically the rule goes, even if the play is supposed to be made and they're two outs, the hitter does not get the RBIs. As you uh, see, Ottner is expecting the bunt, and he is squaring as Emirata shows that breaking ball low. I know you didn't get credit for a hit. But. This is Joe Perry at the plate right now. He hit a long drive to left center that was run down by Rondino. Oh <laughs> As that pitch is taken low. Pardon us, you know, our camera just kind of collapsing us right here. On a bit of an uneven surface. I don't know what happened to the focus, though. Yeah, but a great save by Ethan Kramer. You know, prevented it from breaking the screen. Yeah, but we're way out of focus, so you're going to need to act like a radio announcer right now, just tell them what's going on. Pardon us with their technical difficulties as Amarada sets and delivers as that pitch is up high and the count is 2-1. and one. Going to make an emergency call to Mr. Stephen Clayton, the man behind it all. As Ralph Pacifico walks out to the mound, he will probably have a discussion with his pitcher on what he should do as Amarada has quickly fallen behind here. He's probably discussing the next play that you set up next. <laughs> Never mind, the, the problem just fixed itself. And now you can finally see that discussion with Ralph Pacifico as you can see that camera is now back up and running. So those who are viewing us on MKA TV here today, bear with us on our technical difficulties. We do apologize. We do sincerely apologize you know, that our camera has fallen, but we're glad to be back up, back up here and running safely. You know, neither of us are the technicians. That's Casey. That's Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Elliot, Elliot is certainly in the dugout here with yeah. the MKA baseball roster today. That is taken for ball four. So the first two are on here for Gil St. Bernards. I'll bring up the number seven hitter, Nate Voter. Voter struck out his first time up. Emrata looking for another strikeout. Otner is in as if he's squaring the bunt. He is not squaring as he takes that pitch high. <laughs> Voter, another part of this heavy senior class for Gil St. Bernard's. Outfielders are way back. Bronstein the most shallow right now as that pitch is taken high. Now, are you allowed in high school Ren baseball to square the bunt, pull it back, and swing? Yes, you are, 100%. <laughs> Ronstein fairly deep in left field. Rendino way deep out there in center. Right near the triangle as that pitch is bounced in there, gets away from Seeger. As the runners move up. And Lembo. Fairly deep out over and right. A fly ball here scores a run. And the Cougars, even with two up, they will play the infield in. A little bit of an interesting decision right here. As a ground ball that gets through will score two. As that pitch is taken low, so Emirata has loaded the bases with nobody out here in the top and fourth inning. McGill's making him work for it. It's not going to be easy today. I think the Cougars knew that going in, though. So bases loaded, nobody out. That will bring up freshman Tim Park. Park grounded out his first time up, and he takes a strike from Emirata. you got to believe there's a relation between... Tim Park and what was, what's the guy on third's name? Is it Matt Park? It yeah, Matt Park. You know, I believe they're brothers, you know. Senior Matt Park. Actually, sophomore Matt Park. Freshman Tim Park has that pitch is caught on a miss. Beautiful breaking ball right there from Jack Amarada. And the count is nothing and two. Tim Park not much playing this season as some of the other as some of his other fellow teammates as he takes that ball though. 
but he's looking to cash in in a huge situation in this quarterfinal round of the non-public B state tournament. Now, what is the difference between preps and non-public B? I mean, preps is just all private schools. Uh, well, wouldn't non-public also be all private schools? Yes. As that pitch is cut on, missed big strikeout for Jack Emirata, and there's one away. Number nine hitter in the order. One away, this is Matthew Blumenthal. Now would be a good time for a double play if you're the Blumenthal Kyrie. had that hustle double his first time up. At a line drive past Kyrsimo that Rendino kind of took his time to as Emirata is now pounding strikes in there. That's a quick strike, 0-1. So after falling behind to the first three hitters, Amarada has thrown first pitch strike to the last two. Let's see if he can get Blumenthal right here. Curveball, just low. Amarada wondering where that pitch flows. Blue says it's low. He's kind of smirking at it. And the count is one and one. You know, if you're a pitcher, you know, you kind of want those pitches perfectly framed, low strikes. You always look to aim the ball low as that high curveball is taken up the stairs. Count is two and one. Strike zone being a little bit inconsistent today. You can see Amarada's just trying to find it right now as that pitch is taken for a strike. Blumenthal a bit fooled on that one. He, was, he thought it was inside. Not really happy with it. But the count is two and two. Big out here to get, get this guy then to take out the sack fly situation. Pitch. Swung on line into right field. That ball will get down in for a base hit. One run will score. Lemos They'll hold up the on. runner at third base. It's an RBI single for Blumenthal. And the Knights only trail by one now. Nice play by Lembo to, in right field to get it in quickly, save a run. A pretty good deke by Lembo too, you know. He kind of acted like as if he was going to catch the ball. That, yeah. That's maybe what prevented the runner from third from scoring. So, but also a really good hit by Blumenthal, you know. He kind of, that ball was up at his eyes and he tomahawked that to right field. Yeah, I was surprised he swung at that. So base is loaded, one out. I'll bring it back to the top of the order. This is Christian Mott. Uh, Mott you... walked and grounded out in two trips against Emirata. Now through the third time of the order, Cougars might start going to the bullpen. Or considering going to the bullpen. They'd have to, you'd have to think they'd bring in Testa. Nussbaum going six innings last game. Oh, 100%. No. Emirata has not gone more than five innings all season. It's usually a duo between him and usually Tessa in these big games. That's what it was versus Rutgers prep in the uh, prep finals. A one is bounced in there, one and one. Actually, the count is two and one, pardon me. Emirata trying to work out of the gym. Outfielder still very deep as Although Rendino has creeped in a little bit as that pitch is inside, ball three. So three balls in the strike and there's no place to put Mott. You force him to hit it, you give him a pitch to hit, say, beat me with, so I, you can say, I'm gonna give you my best pitch, you gotta hit it. As that pitch is taken low, Amarada walks in a run and the game is now tied at three. Well, you know, through the top of the order, Emra is looking for that big double play ball. So Nussbaum goes over to talk to him for a bit of a quick chat. We'll see how long Coach P lets him go. You know, it's back to the only lefty lefty in the lineup. Is Coach P known for having a tight leash with his pitchers? Does he let him go? What's he like? I mean, it kind of depends on the pitcher. With Amarada, you know, he's got pitching behind him, so. I think, you know, he, I, I think he's hoping to squeeze a couple more outs out of him and then go to Tesla. I mean, obviously, if you were to win this one, you'd start Nussbaum the next game as that pitch is taken high, and Emirata is clearly laboring out there a little bit. Count is 1-0. Here comes the pitch. Ball low, 2-0. Gets away from Seeger. As Park will score and Gil St. Bernard's is taking the lead here in the fourth. Two and zero from Jack Emrod to Zach Wendell. 
fastball in there for a strike. The count is two and one. You know, Ethan, crowd was pretty rowdy in the uh, bottom half of the third inning, but has gotten real quiet in the top of the fourth as Emirata has certainly struggled a little bit in this inning yes, as that pitch is taken for ball three. Yes, it absolutely has gone quiet. Cougars bats are going to need to wake him back up again. Ob obviously, being down a run, you're going to need another run. I don't want to sound as one goal walks. Don't want to sound like Captain Obvious, but you know, the bats have benefited from errors, from wild pitches. You got to think that you, gotta, you have to start stop relying on the other team's mistakes so much and create it for yourself a bit because I don't know how much longer in a playoff game we're going to get these errors and wild pitches. After three walks this inning, Coach P will take the ball from Jack Amarada and he will give him a bit of a hug, say, way to get him, kiddo. And he will give it over to his senior captain, John Testa. This will put... Alessandro Rizzio in the game. He will take over at shortstop. Emirata will move over to first base. Testa Emirata, part of that big duo at Rutgers Prep at Diamond Nation. Let's go, Testa. You know, one thing about Emirata today, he was another gutsy outing by him right there, you know. Kind of def definitely was a bit more of a struggle for him. Didn't seem like he had his velocity as he did against Diamond Nation, where he was throwing really, really hard. Yeah, Dale St. Bernard, the Knights hitters just seemed like kind of got on top of him today. Yeah, he was battling out there today. Got, gave him three and a third, but it was time to pull the leash after the <laughs> latest walk. You got to get tested in there. Got to get out of the inning. Because you can't go down by too much now. They got good pitchers on the other side too. Testa got the final out against Gil St. Bernard's in the prep semifinal game, which sent them over to play against Rutgers Prep with Domination. And Testa also got the final out in that game, too. Fly ball to center field to Jake Rendino. He pitched three and two-thirds scoreless innings in that game. And what has really been a rebound season for John Testa in his final campaign here as the Cougar. Yeah, coming off Tommy John surgery, am I right? Yep. Three years down the road. Has really hit well, but this is really the first impact you're seeing of him from the mound. So. Now, if, if Cougars lose today, is their season over? I believe so. To test to trying to make sure his high school career doesn't end here. What up, so? Wham! What up, Robinson? <laughs> Logan Mott will step in against John Testa as he looks to work out of a mess as that pitch is taken in there for a strike. The count is one and one. First time in his MKA career that Testa's thrown over 20 innings on a season. This is the innings that they need him most as that pitch misses low. Is it the first time in his career that he's pitched at all, isn't it? He didn't pitch no, he pitched, he pitched his freshman year. Oh, he did. And he pitched very well in limited work. 2-1, and that pitch is cut on a missed. Spotted him with the fastball. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. Did the half swing, did he go? 
I think yes, he did. I think that's a strike anyway. Big strikeout for Jack Amarada. I think Excuse that's, me, John Testa and Nero too. Uh, I think that's a strike anyway, even if he didn't go. Yeah. <laughs> Two hot bases loaded. I think it's clean enough hitter. And he takes that pitch low. Got four home runs in the season. Johnny's gonna be able to want to be careful with him here. Curveball <laughs> taken high, 2 0. I don't think Ethan, the worst thing would be to do is to walk him here. Yeah, you got a base open, clean. That, actually, actually, you know, speaking of which, the actually, guy the Matthew Park, loaded. I mean, the base is loaded, but the guy Matthew Park on deck. Said two balls in the gap. One hopped the wall a couple times, you know. I believe he also let off the inning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As that pitch has popped up. Really, you think you should be First base side out of play, that will land on the tracks. If this was Park, I say maybe you walk him, even with the bases loaded, because yeah. he's crushed two balls today. I, I, I was saying this is the cleanup hitter, but Park's on deck. So, and he's really shown that he could swing the bat today. That's to trying to work out of a jam. As that pitch is taken for a ball low, and the count is three and one. Pitch. Upstairs, ball four. The Knights have taken the lead on a bases loaded ball. And here comes Park with the bases loaded. This is not the guy you want to see if you're the Cougars right now. Absolutely has home run power. We've seen him hit two balls to the wall today. Like if you yell, we can do it. Let's go, White! You get me? Like if you yell, it'll hear you. Did they pick me up? I didn't have the headphones on. It's a little delayed. <laughs> um, a little bit, like a few seconds. Base is loaded for Matthew Park. Test the delivers, and that pitch is taken for a ball. And one and up. Matthew Park with a double and a triple here today. This has got to be extremely careful with him here as that pitch bounces. Yeah, you don't want to give him anything to hit. Walking is not even the worst thing here, even down two. You'd rather give up one on a walk than three on a basis scoring double. Absolutely. Cougars have to score more anyway in order to win this game. Yeah. That's been part of the thing. Their pitching can only hold up for so long as that pitch is driven in the air deep to left field. Bronstein camped on route. Park gave it a ride, but Bronstein hauls it in at the end of three and a half. Five three, Gill. I'm not that 
I kind of want to like announce for an ending. Do you have, do you have to sign up? Do you, do you, want to, do you actually want to announce for an ending? Yeah, sure. How do I do it? Do it. Do it. I give you the mic. more of those gates? Gatorades? Any more Gatorades? Yeah. Gatorade? yeah. 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 Alright, can I, no, I'll do it when they're in the field. Alright. I'll do it for half a minute. Half a minute. Because Ro loves that on I Back here for the bottom of the fourth inning. Still a long way to go. Yeah. As the MK Cougars are now in battle mode after giving up four runs in the top of the fourth inning. Uh, Nussbaum swings, I pops mean, it up. I can give Jack one microphone. My fielder comes in, makes the catch, and there's one away. Like if you, like if he's gonna give you, if, you, if, he's, if he gives you your, yeah. Yeah. Yo, Jack, oh, no. Yeah, let's do it. When they're in the field. <laughs> <laughs> So one out, no one on, that will bring up freshman Jake Rendino back to the top of the order. He was 0 for 2 today. As that pitch is taken low. 1 and 0. <laughs> He's taken high, 2 and 0. Womack overthrowing that fastball. John! Rendino, not a guy you want to walk, definitely capable of stealing your base. <laughs> Oh, low strike there. Pitch is taken in there for a strike, and that certainly looked a little bit low. Not really a hittable pitch for Rendino. Pacifico certainly not happy about it. That pitch is well, looped Jake. into center field, and a diving catch by the center fielder, robbing Jake Rendino of a hit. And there are two away. So what looked like a promising start for the Cougars, it seems like their luck has been turning a little bit here in the later innings as Testa comes back in after getting his warm-up pitches in. Two out, no one on, that'll bring up Quinn Kyrsimo as he takes that up for a ball. Kyrsimo 0 for 2 today. He takes that one ball. Two up. Downstairs, 3 0. And if the Cougars need anything right now, it's a base runner with Jack Amarada coming up to the plate next. You think Carlos Mo is taking all the way here? 100%. And he takes ball four. So a base runner will come to the plate, and Jack Amarada represents the tying run. I'm sure he's mad after the la that last inning. We'll see what he is able to do. He's definitely capable of hitting it out. Comes up to the plate. Run on Car Samo on first. Omak with the set. Looking for a pitch to drive. Amarada takes that curveball low, and Car Samo heads back to first base. Pacifico not really happy right there. One another count on Jack Amarada. Set. The pitch. There is a strike. Count is one and one. Doesn't look like Womack is throwing awfully as hard as he was in the first couple of innings. Yeah, definitely tiring. This could be this will probably be his last inning. Curveball's taken downstairs and the count is two and one. This guild team has struggled more in years past. This is the first year they were at 500 last year. And the number two seed in the tournament as that pitch is chopped over to second base. Take it the short way over to shortstop, and that will end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. One runner left at the end of four, five, three, Cougar, five, three, Gill. Go to the fifth.
Yo, Will, what are you going to do? Oh, here we go. I don't know. Can I hold this? Uh, like four or five million dollars. I don't have to wear these, do I? So just like, you come and you can hear yourself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to hear myself for that next time. Alright, what do you do? Do you see a robot? Alright. Now here's what you got to do, you got to push it. Oh, no shot. Yeah, no, it's good. Alright, we're locked. I really got the ball through. Should I start talking? All right, Flacco, you ready? <laughs> Carl Flacco, checking into the game. Yeah, it's your boy, Jack, my boy. You know, we're just about to take over. For a little yeah, just just a little bit, not too long. Uh, could find a new passion here for announcing. Boom. Yeah, add on to the Flacco photo media gang. Yeah, if you haven't checked them out, check them out. Plucko uh, Productions really coming around. <laughs> yep. We got a 5 through game here in the top of the fifth. Test them the mound. We're going to do some damage here. Gail. Pitch. Right down the middle. Right, right down the pipe. Let's hope they don't get a hold of one of those, though. Smell ya. Foul back. Right over the head. <laughs> Beautiful day here. Nice. 73 degrees, maybe. The pitch Ooh. popped up high. We got Quinn Carlissimo looking to get under it. Ah, there we go. One down. <laughs> How do we sound? I'm muted. How are we here? How are we listening? You're we fine. Hearing? I'm about to find out. Oh, he goes for the bunt. Pulls back just in time. We got to hit that like bottom of the eyes right now. Hey, one spot, Nate. I was planning ahead. Prior preparations proved perfect. Brody Snyder just said below me, prior preparation proved to purchase the Cougars. You know their story. Line drive, base hit. Mike Brown just gets under that one. Mike Brown having a tremendous defensive game today. Absolutely. Not much time for storytelling up here, huh? Yeah, no. Not not a lot of time. Tess is a fast pitcher here. Not a lot of time in between. Hi. Shout out to all the all the Rangers fans out there. Oh, that's a good look by Tess. Big game two tonight. Yeah, Rangers coming out on top. They looked good last game with uh, Zone back in here on KB's Baseball. How are you? The 1 0. It's low. It's a great take by 30 there. Looks like we got a middle school softball behind us. Just a beautiful day for sports. Yep. So am I. How do I sound? Oh, I'm locked in now. I can hear myself. Yeah, I was muted before. Sorry about that. Fans at home. We got a bunch of rookies on here, up here on the mics. 
wouldn't call myself. Okay, a this, is, this isn't our last time doing this. No, it's certainly not my first. <laughs> Huge shout out to Ethan Potash. He's really the man. I mean, really is. MKTV wouldn't be MKTV. They're gonna be no lost Cody. when he graduates. I don't know what's gonna go I on. I don't know. <laughs> the pitch. Mmm, that was a good luck. Looks like it was blown away. Walks him. First and second, one out. Anyone Cougars are struggling. Who is a freshman or sophomore in MK, you should all join MKTV. Yeah. Yep. I mean, just it's keep a great, your eyes it's open. a great community. You know, you get free access to all the games. You know, you get a uh, no excuse to leave. You got to stay for the whole yep. whole game. And even know? better, you get out of class early when they've got a little away yeah, game. Yeah. Yeah. There you get go. Get right out of there. Strike. That's a good pitch. I like that, Testa. Keep it up. Low ball. Goes for the bunt. 19 actually had a big base hit in the, uh, in the top of the fourth to send a couple. All year they hop on a bus. Yeah, not one, not one home game. Nope, we got nothing. They've been on the bus the whole year. Shout out to the Barrett family, you know, just really throwing it all at us. It's yeah. a beautiful field. Testa looks it away. Testa steps off, trying to reset here. Get in the mental state here. The one, two. It's low. <laughs> and we're back. Great stop by Luca there. Luca Seeger, just an outstanding freshman catcher. Yeah, he's really been great. The, the freshman class for this It's a great pickup by Coach P. I mean, yeah. he really Go knows what he's doing. Yeah, we got a great, bright future ahead for the MK Cougars here. That is for sure. Oh, that is a good look. Right, three, and he goes for look the... Look for the double, but no, it's not there. And he beats it. Second and third. Yes, sir, four, Max, it up. Max Nussbaum. Max Emilius. Yeah. He looks good today, huh? He does. He's got the, he's got the hot corner. That's exactly what he's got. We got two outs here. Testa looks him down. Give me that. Call he just right says, back. give me that. He looks good. <laughs> Testa looking to wrap up this inning here. Great to get out of this hole. Yet again, wow. another strike. Yep. Oh, two count, one more pitch. Yep. He looked good. Pitch. Oh, they it's shot. Popped one. up. Is it right at Nick Lembo? Doesn't even have to move. He's under it. The minibus himself, there Nick goes, Lembo. Multi sport. I mean, he is just under every ball. Ball. He looks good. Gills, Matt, they're a knight, actually. <laughs> Looking to hold this 5-3 lead that they have here, going into the bottom of the fifth. A couple more innings left. Knights. Yeah. Know, we're looking to put them in the night night mode. <laughs> Got a nice turnout here today, that's for sure. Very nice turnout. Too much to count. Ryan Dector, I mean, he's, he's got some mullet, man. Yeah, Ryan Dector, he's really just, just coming together. You know, it started off rough with the sports clip. Hot, Listen, but it really all came together in the yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> 
Morgan Riley in attendance. Yeah. Repping the house competition winning Monjo. Yep. No, always repping. You know, she really is just always repping. She's, she's big spirit, on school. You know? She's big on school. You know, give her that. Wish we could have a few more people at today's game, but hey, what are you going to do? Yeah. Here we are, Coach P giving me the look. Hey, how Coach are you? P Coach P looking for his 500th. Yeah, that's big. Today. I don't know how we haven't talked about that. But. Yeah, that's big. 500. A lot of jinx. <laughs> 500. Tell me more, Potash. How do you feel about the 500 bomb? Uh, I think I was told that we shouldn't we shouldn't mention it. We don't want to jinx it. But I guess we've already started talking about it. But Cougars down two here, so they're gonna need a few runs if they want to get that. Yeah. Listen, I'm not He's big going, on the whole jinxing that, thing. Yeah. I think uh, prior preparation proves your purpose. Yeah. Really, just I mean, if you prepare well enough, you'll just be ready for anything thrown your way. Let's get after it. Yeah. We got roll Cougs. Looks, yeah, it looks like John Testa. Yeah, um, number four. It's on deck number with uh, Nick Lumbo in the hole. So really powerful next two batters here, looking to looking to get some runs back here. What do you say, Cougs? Let's get after it. Well, look at this cowboy hat. This guy's legit, huh? The people you see, man, just. It's nothing like a good old bird. It's like a bird watching almost. It really is. Yeah. yeah. Being this high up. Uh huh. Oh, here, wow, look, we got Morgan Dechter in attendance at the game today. It's always good to see her. Yeah. Um, John I mean, Tessa takes one high. 1 1. 1 1. Down 5 3. <laughs> Bottom of the fifth. The one one. Yes, please. Yes, please. Number four, John Tesco. hit. Yeah, John. Yeah, he looks good. What up, four? What do you got to say about him, Potash? You know, he's been their MVP all season long. He's been their rock, and he provides spark. See if they can get this rally going. Yeah, they're gonna. They're they're not, they're certainly gonna miss him next year. Yo, shout out to Devin Ramsey. Hey, Devin. Dev, man, there's Kevin not much Ramsey. to say about you other than you're just a bomb, dude. Yeah. I mean, you really are the greatest. I just, not a, no one says anything bad about you. Nick Lembo, many bust Nick Lembo at the bat. Gives us the look. Made that play last inning to end the inning. He did. And he's uh, just looking to keep that momentum rolling. Testa goes. Going. He's taking the base. Wow, he is moving. And the Safe. Smell you. Wow. Yep, that's an error. That was Phenomenal. Phenomenal hose yeah, by the catcher there. Yeah. Penn State commit. Wow, is that true? Yeah. Wow, Penn State, you might want to relook into that one. No, I mean. that was, I, you know, that was a hose. That was, yeah, was that, that, a, was that an error the, by the second yeah, baseman? All, all right. On him. All right, Penn State, you got a good one. Yeah, he let, let a couple pass balls by, but no commentary. He's going Penn State, if you're reason, listening, so. I mean, catch has got some good flow. I'll he's give him that. Some, yeah, he's got some He's got some stuff to prove to me. Yeah. I don't see D1, but, Listen, you know. when I'm on the mic, there's no gimmies. you got to earn everything. We are... Bi unbiased commentators. Mini bus, Nick Lambo. Oh, the ball. ball. Yeah, no, that was a dirt. Mm -hmm. This pitcher is no good, though, huh? If he gets one of those above the plate, he's taking that. He's taking a yard. Yeah, I like right field. Right 19's yeah. got his arm crossed. I mean, he is not ready. Not ready for Nick that. Nick Lambo. How are you yeah. doing? John Johnny T. Oh, mini bus, Nick Lambo. Oh, wow, oh. look at that. How are you oh. doing? Left fielder is yeah, that's absolutely good. shallow. Yeah, what? Yeah, Almost three is infield. rattled. Three Just is rattled. Not, is not allowing anything to be Brody scored. Schneider now on his feet. We, uh, we I think he's got up. something to say. Brody Schneider standing up. What do we have to say? Roll Cougs. I, I got yep. Roll, Roll Cougs. Cougs. It doesn't get much better. Also in attendance, Connor Murphy. Recently uh, found out he will be attending Princeton. Yeah, that's big time. I think he's got something. He's always got something good to say. Connor Murphy on the mic going to Princeton. Book <laughs> Seeger takes him one high. I got nothing to say. Yeah, he's confused up last night. Uh, he's already he's looking speechless. into the Princeton He's books. speechless with this uh, bottom of the fifth we're having here. Yep. Runners on the corners. No outs. Lucas Seeger looking to make some damage. We look good. We're on. We're standing on our toes. Yep. Yeah, we got Michael Bronstein. Yo. Yeah, that's big! That is big. Wow, Johnny T. 
I it's mean, a you know, he's just got that killer instinct. He's just always ready to always mm, get in there and make a play. I like that a lot. Great call by Coach B. Recently breaking the uh, all-time steal record for a single season. He looks good, man. He's just he's just a prodigy. If an injury set him back, he didn't let that take control of over anything. And what are you going to do, right? I mean, he's just got that killer mindset. He's ready for it all. Oh my God. Wow, that's shelled. How you doing? Oh, he gets under it. What are you going to do? Luca, I mean, he's an outstanding catcher. There's not much else to say. Yeah, he's, he he's could be at NCAA Division One bound. He is at this at this rate. I mean, he looks good, man. I mean, if I were him, I'd I'd be looking at uh, Vanderbilt right now. I don't know. If I were coaches, I don't know. I'd be <laughs> I'd be looking at Luca Seeger. Yeah, he's legit. Eli Solomon with a big cut. I tell you, oh, double one. threes looks good on any jersey. It does. Yep. Yeah. Any sport. Flacco Photo's got an eyes for double threes, I'll tell you that. I heard some contact. I heard some contact. Go Blue. Not here today, sir. You are in the wrong area. That's, that's actually a um, field day today for the primary school. Oh, that's big. Yeah, that's what that's what the Go Blue is. Um, in that case, we're not hating. Go Blue. Yeah, we're not hating. It's Morning. always nice to see the youngins out yeah. here, you know. Love it. There's about next gen. Five. Todd Smith couldn't put it any better. Next gen. Yeah. We got about five. Let's go, Brady! Elementary schoolers. Oh, right yep. down the middle. We got about. We got the next gen in the dugout right now. Coach P just loves him. He just loves him. It's the type of guy he is, you know. The yep. best class is always the next class. Yep. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Oh, that with a cut. That, I might catch That's this one. Foul. Hold on, I might catch it. Oh, running out of room there. With the fence. Yeah. Not a lot of room. Not a lot of room. Pit so. vipers down. Thank you, uh, Jordan Fish back here, uh, <laughs> captain for the football team next year. Anything to say? Uh, no, I got nothing. He's got nothing. You know, he, he was up late last night. He's got a big ACT coming up. You know. Just, just trying to, you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. I mean, yeah. he just might get married to this girl. Right down the middle. All right, all right, Michael you know Bronstein. what? I'll give it to him. We got ourselves a 5-4 game here heading into the we sixth. One. We look good, oh, fellas. Yeah. We look all good. You, all you can do is J fall away. You JT fall taking once. the mound. It's always nice to see a freshman at shortstop, you know, just know that mm. they'll be there. You know, yep. you got four years out of them. Yeah. Well, so we, we had Jake Rendino in center field, Brad. also a freshman. Shortstop and second base, both freshmen. Morgan Riley now back in the stands. I think she ran to her car for some vegan snacks. She didn't uh, specify. Nothing wrong with it, though. Yeah, no, no I'm kidding. I love vegan snacks. <laughs> Worse is when she doesn't bring any for me. Yeah, she, she might That's be That's really when she'll She's get you. She's definitely hogging over there. We're kind of hungry up here. I yeah. Mean, I don't know when. I mean, it's beater season. I'm on a cut. Yeah. <laughs> Brody Schneider's got, actually got something to say about beaters. Uh, he's the up-and-coming beater himself. Well, I wouldn't put it that far, but he's just, he can't comment. Uh, listen, he's got bright future toughs. He's robos. Playing football and lacrosse there. Yeah, he's legit. Dual sport. <laughs> He's not, guys. He wishes he was. You know, the one thing I'm not really a fan of is this long uh, intermission period here. Yeah, well, you got to keep them warm. You I do. Mean, you you're should throwing, get warm. You're yeah. throwing between 50 and 80 pitches a game, you know? Well, I'm not talking about the pitchers. I feel like the uh, outfielders. Yeah, well, I mean, you got, you got all this time, so oh. you might as well use it, you know? You're not just going to sit and. Count thumbs. Is that the saying? Nolan Jives heading to Into the bullpen. Heading to the bullpen with Eli Solomon. Double threes. Always Stud reliever. The pitch is high. And we're underway here in the top of the sixth. Update. We got a four, a one nothing game for the softball middle school cross behind us. Shout out to them. Uh, while we were talking about that, uh, John Tessa threw another ball, so 2-0. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and Birdie's getting comfortable. He is just laying down. He's just living life. I, I like this the view. The 2-0. Oh, boom. Fouled back. Give me that 2-1. It's a snack piece. Still a little question of the day going here in a second. Can we confirm that that is Benji's family over there? The no Benji? Yes, that, that is, is well, indeed right? Benjamin Pfeiffer's family <laughs> in attendance at the game today. I think they're scouting. It has not been confirmed. Oh, high ball by Mr. Testa. Where's Benji? Benji, if you're watching, where are you? Benji, where are you? Caroline Murphy now down in the stands kind of looking at me funny. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if that one hit home. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Benj? The 3-1 is right down the middle. Full count here. We got another set of Cougarville climbing up. Wow, who do we have here? Grace Rendino, welcome back. Grace Rendino, welcome back. You want to say a few oh, things? Oh, that's a shot. Uh, she just looks right away. Right at Jake Rendino. What do we got, Rendino? Oh, yes, please. I'm getting an incoming. Makes the out. Getting One a down. phone call. Hold on here, One fellas. down. Grace Rendino cheering on his brother. Yep. Your brother. Um, just an athletic family there. Jack's in the bathroom. He'll be right back. Oh, and he's back. That was quick. Yep, I'm back like I never left. Uh, it was actually I mean, that's an just what happens. phone you know, time call. Time flies when Jack's not here. That sounds like a bad thing. Yeah, I don't know I where that came thing. from, Carl. Yeah, I think it's a good thing. Yep. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a, just a messy ball. He's got sticky fingers, it yeah. looks like. Yeah. Sticky Maybe too fingers. Much sticky tack. Yeah, sticky nope, fingers. Oh. No, that was no. He doesn't cheat. We don't cheat here. No, at the please. It's an honor code violation. Yep. I know a few people on the honor code. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Good people. They really are good. Honest people. I like them a lot. You've yeah. been with them once. <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> Never done me wrong. Two one count. I'm telling you, man, we got to find our defensive groove here. Let's check the viewers here. 33 watching. Actually? <laughs> well, all 33 of you, that's a, that's I could. A lot live. That is a lot live. That is a lot live. What's the views come from after the war? I mean, it's a, it's a state, state championship. Well, we're so. dropping like flies. We're already down to 28, <laughs> but uh, come on, guys, yeah. hang around. I think, I think the word got around that. Oh, that's a pitch. big cut. How you big doing? Cut. Yeah, I think the word got around that Jack McAvoy and Carl Flock were going to be on the mics today. That is exactly why. Yeah. Very why the views went up, huh? Well, that's got to be it. It's kind of like a... It's got to be it. What's a... What's a wow. That's high. Testa on fire, but just Walks couldn't seal the, the deal. What do you think he's throwing right about now? <laughs> 60s? 50, 60s, maybe? All right. Yeah, he's he's throwing flames. He's throwing. I mean, he's probably, he's in the 70s, high 70s, low 80s. I mean, he looks good, man. That shoulder's just mm. shoulder elbow. It's all connected in the long run. Wow, Brody just getting comfortable. Here. Brody really lounging in the bird dogs. You know, bird dogs. Shout out, you guys are great. Really. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on, Brody's gonna have to go. Oh yeah, because he's late. He's even late. Hold on, hold on, Brody Schneider on the mic. Okay, so that's a that's a shot. Wow, that's a ripper. Oh, Mike Braun there to get under it. One. Oh, he's going home. This this could be trouble. Oh, that's a long. That was on Rizzo with an absolute bomb. But not it's in all time. Good. It's all good. It's all good. The Knights are firing and up on after second. that one. Yeah, they are. And I think they should sit back down lot. because it's a little obnoxious. Yeah, a lot, lot of ball left, though. So, A lot of ball. Don't count them out. Yep. Uh, Brody Schneider here on the mic. So listen, I got to ask you, man. Um, the other day, I brought a bag of about like six sandwiches to uh, his house. What kind of sandwiches? It was ham, turkey, oh, provolone, okay. and lettuce. I only told two people. I told the Rouge and I told you. And then at the end of the night when I was planning on eating them, there was only one left. Here's Jack McAvoy yeah. in the hot seat right yeah, now. Yeah, so here's what happened. I could have swore they were sieves, <laughs> and I thought they were going to be like a post-crossfit -cross munch. And I was like, well, I could use a few carbs right now because uh, I was loading. This was it's pre also bulking This season. was pre-beater season. Yeah, it's also bulking season. So. Yeah. So uh, I munched. I may have had one or two. I do not know what happened to the remaining four or three. 
I did yeah, enjoy like them though. Brody Schneider yeah, Brody Schneider knows how to make a sandwich. I'll give him that. Yeah, homemade sandwiches. Most likely to munch in class. Shut Yours up, Belgians. Truly, talking to Sam. Talking about Brody sandwiches. Schneider. Brody Schneider. Some of the hot, hot places. We in got Mothball. Brody laughing. This it's it's always a good day when Brody's laughing. John Tess is about to deal the 0-1. Yeah, here we go. The pitch. That is down. And away. 1-1. One, one. Shout out to Mr. Rosen with the, with the dunks on. With the dunks next to him, we have Nigel Furlong. The pitch. That oh, that shot. is cracked. That is cracked. Mike off Braun. The wall. Oh, off the wall. Cougs really need Braun's to get something going right now. Hits the cutoff, man. That's going to be a double for number one. That's his second double. He's dancing on second base. And the Knights are just fired up right now. Just opening this game up. Yeah, I mean. Looks like we're going to have a pitching change here. Nolan Jives. We're going to need to do something, reliever. you know. Nolan Jives. We're struggling pitching today. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I do. I can't get my head around it. Yeah. Uh, they've been really good all season. Maybe it's the jitters? You know, it could be. It's a state. This is a big deal. This is a big game. Um, looking to advance to the semis. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. These guys playing tennis behind us are really yeah. not good. Meanwhile, John Testa walking off the mound. Good news. He doesn't. Phenomenal he, couple innings by him. He doesn't his, look angry. His best. Uh, Beth. Beth has trainer, just arrived. Just wow, up with a, a few pizza, pizza pies. With this a bunch looks, of hungry high schoolers. This could be legit. I'm going to go on mute and uh, crack a question. I'll be back. Car Walker here. Jack McAvoy going to do his do his things. If you yell, this might be. Jack McAvoy trying to get her attention. Yeah, no, she's not listening. Nolan Jive's in the game now. Gonna look to relieve these cougars. Can you say something and I'll talk? Sorry about this, folks. Uh, we got some hungry folks over here, but we got a pizza pie, so priorities, you know? She's kind of, she's kind of busy. Yeah, she's she's got a lot to do. I mean, yeah. yep, yep. Yeah, I'm back. She's trying to one game. She yeah, be, she wouldn't be carrying around the box like that if it wasn't. Yeah, in. yeah. Well, I, think for, really I think it's for I think it's for us. I could be wrong. It's gotta be. I mean, I'm I think I think someone parched. told her. What do you guys think about some interviews? Drop them live in the comments. I think I'm, I'm thinking about Post maybe game. doing a little walk around. Yeah. I believe comments are turned off. So. Comments <laughs> are turned off, so that could be a problem, folks. Just uh, shoot send me a them, text. Yeah, send, them, send them in via Flacco photo. Yeah, shoot shoot me a text, 973-303-0286. I'll be answering the first five questions. A lot of possible interviewees over here. Yeah, Ben Morgenstein. I mean, ben you know, Morgenstein. he's really he's the center of attention lately. He's a big... <laughs> He's big time these days. He's got the Top Gun shades. He on. does. You know, he looks a lot like Shout that really sexy Gun. guy with abs. What do you got for me, Morgenstein? Ben Morgenstein on the mic now. Ben, keep it clean. Yeah, uh, you know no one jives. Just an absolute unit. What? They call him the rock in school. Okay, so um, uh, he's just Ben Morgenstein here. Strong man. Taking a look Even at stronger at the pitcher. Baseball so, player. Gonna be a fun one to watch here. That was Throws the slowest pitch I've seen in a while. Looking good. Morgan Steen sounds like an idiot, and he certainly is one, so I will be taking the mic from him because he has no idea what he's talking about. Morgan Steen, I don't know who he thinks he is, but he is certainly uh, one of those scout players. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Scout team heroes. Yeah, scout, he's, he's a scout team hero. Oh my god, just... it's Aaron Judge. <laughs> Through what, uh, ben just so Ben Morgenstein just thought he could take the mic and just start throwing slang at her own team. Wow. Little did he know that the technique to baseballs ease into it. Yep, amen. It's America's favorite pastime, folks. I think it Ben Morgenstein will not be getting the mic again. Yep, I can confirm. Yep, leader Ethan Potash has He's something just to say about there. that. He's sitting alone. Yeah, Ben Morgenstein's not getting the mic again. <laughs> That's no one a drives. shot right at John Testo. That is a good play, Mr. Testa. Just, just, just huge. Textbook. That was defense. just huge. Textbook defense. That was good. That was really good. Brody Snyder with a like on the Flacco photo post. Shout out, Brody Snyder. Flacco photo is legit these days, folks. <laughs> High rates. 
Five star rating, folks. Don't check Yelp. Nolan Jives in the dirt. 01. 1 0, sorry. Jake to... Pryor sending in a request. That's the first request. Uh, Mahmoud gonna... Hassanin. Yeah, Zay, get up here. Mahmoud Hassanin does not, not want the, he does not want the attention. Yeah, Zay Too did cool a, for school. Zay did a crazy workout uh, a few minutes ago. I saw him running. I don't know. He was probably he was doing forty yard dashes. He probably clocked in around three nine. Yeah, commit. He looked good. Yeah, I'll commit. Nolan Jives with the two L. Nolan Jives. That's a roller. That is, is that going to be boom, fair? That is give fair. it to me. Tosses Little, it. Yes, please. Nolan Jives. Nolan what a Jives. close. That's Just big time for Mr. Nolan Jives. Dealing. Maybe five pitches at most. You know what they say. When you're dealing, you're wheeling. Amen. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. Uh, Cougars with a 7-4 deficit right now. Looking to add on <laughs> and take control of this game. Listen, I'm Go looking Friday. at Mike Brown in the dugout. Yeah, he's just he, getting looks, everyone. he looks tired. Look, he's giving us the wave. He's Mike Brown, wave. yours truly, number 22. Double twos, I really like he's that He's just getting everyone excited, as you can see. I mean, He's, he's just, just that the, type of guy, yeah. He's just the heart and soul of this team. Well, that might be John Testa. But. but, I mean, you got players, and then you got players off the field. You know what I mean? That is a great point. Mike, you know. Michael Bronstein, just a great guy to be around. See, earlier today I was at a lacrosse meeting. Jasper Spitz said some inspirational things. Well, what was that? Can we, can, is it stuff that we can say on camera? You know, you know it is, because it, he kept it clean, and I really, I, every, we got ourselves a family here, you know. A family is a family. Everybody plays a role. You're missing a piece of the puzzle. The puzzle can't be complete. Hence, therefore, you just, you know, you need all the pieces of the puzzle. It doesn't matter if you're a starter or not. You're, you're affecting the team in some way. And the, the crowd's just really loving it right now. 20 on the mound doesn't look good. I like to keep it positive, but he's throwing balls into the dirt left Once right. again, non-biased uh, commentators here. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Totally I wouldn't. I would never get into it. Jack messed the camera up, but nothing wrong with it. Yep. Yeah, guys, just uh, once again, text me 973-303-0286 if you have any problems. Yeah, I don't know about giving numbers out, Jack. Um, no? We can... <laughs> we can... Benji Pfeiffer uh, typing. Oh, no, oh it's, no, just it's just a TikTok. It's just a TikTok. Benji Pfeiffer ignoring the MKTV live yeah, stream. Yeah, something. Oh, catcher walking out to the mound. This is never good. Just a little fist pump. We got ourselves a 7-4 game here. A lot of ball. A lot of ball left. Um, Cougars definitely have. Oh, no one jives. It's up to bat. Top gun. No one jives at the plate. I mean, look at those arms. Look at those arms. Cinque. He's been in the gym. I love it. He's just really one of those players who's willing to. He's just really wow. just willing to do it all. Pitcher's throwing gas now. A little bit outside. Count as 1-0. The 1 0. The pitch. Is Low down ball. And away. Low ball. Yep, that's what we like. 2 0 count for Nolan Jives. Everything's going right for him today. The 2 0 is swung on. And Uh, Morgan Dechter, everyone. Jack McAvoy will be interviewing. Yep, yep. Yeah, Carl Flock a little too comfortable. I mean, his his dad's he's, his dad's big time at MK. But Morgan know. Dechter really wants the mic though. Yeah, I'm gonna go and get an interview with Morgan Dechter. You guys, let me know how you like it. I'll be right back. On my way now. <laughs> Something fell. <laughs> Yes, uh, I'm here now with Morgan Dector. Grace Nuno <laughs> yelling at me. Um, with I'm here with Pink Pants herself. Miss. Morgan Dector. Morgan Dector, you got anything to say? Hi, everybody. Jake Rendino sounds back. really the positive, which is always good, is always a good thing. You guys are competing. Yeah. I'm in. She's talking, and so are you. 
but I'm gonna have two later. Doesn't go, doesn't go simultaneously. All positive vibes. Interesting. Healthy, so I'm cutting happy. out. No, no, no. You guys yeah, are. Good stuff. Wow, that was shell. Pooper. Jake Rendino. Oh, Ooh, almost had two outfielders run into each other here. Cougs need to find their role. Um, what else do you have to say, Morgan? How was the end of your cross oh. season? You know, it was all right. It was all right. Um, I'm really yeah, happy with the, the way game. everyone just kind of just stuck together. You know, it's, it's all about that family. It's really what it's all about. Yeah, I totally agree. Let's wrap it up, Jack. All right, Carl Flogger now yelling at me. Once again, I couldn't agree with what Brady Snyder said. He is much too comfortable uh, with this microphone in his hand. I mean, he looks good, though. He's in a cutoff, backwards hat. What are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you got to say about He's Carl He's taking Flogger? pictures. I love Carl Flogger. He's one of my favorite people ever. Wow, that's an error. That is an error. Quinn Carlissimo finds first base. I'll tell you, one's been making errors all I day long. Get them. I think the Morgan Dexter, really good question. What do you think Coach P is writing down? Morgan, what do you think? Jack Amarada. Great Looking call. To do damage we look good here. I first. will be returning. Morgan, any final words? Blazing speed. Everyone Blazing speed on first. Living today like your last. Wow, that is good, huh? Oh, oh. That's deep. That's it's good. I'm here with uh, junior eye. captain Evan Grossman. What do you got to say, more Masters? Interviews. How are you? We got a lot of viewers on. Yeah, no, I'm good. I've been talking to him for a while now. What about you? Doing well. What a beautiful Drop us up, night Jack. here it is at the uh, West Orange High School. Jack, Matt, uh, Jack. Doesn't uh, Amarada, get much sorry. better, you know, that's for sure. Uh, that was that away. Yep. All right, I'm going to return. Any final words? Don't say a word. No, uh, go Cougars. We got go pizza Cougars. here. We have pizza uh, live. Yeah, TV. Yep. Saving this the is, people. This could be good. Jack uh, facing the 1 1. Is low. <laughs> yep, I was uh, recent. Yep. I'm, I'm full you want to hand me a sleeve? <laughs> I think you gotta talk to Jack Amarada takes a crazy <laughs> look. We're just going to share the pizza. No, Bye. we're just going to get two different pieces. Yeah, we've got a bit of a chaotic broadcast going on, but we're having a good time, so it's okay. My, not my, we're gonna alternate bites here, Jack. Just yeah, more. <laughs> that was my piece. Jack McAvoy is absolutely down in here. While that was happening, the count is now 2 2. Jack having an outstanding at bat right now. Just amazing. The 2 2 is swung on. Yep. And, yep. Uh oh. Is he gonna beat it? Safe. He was off the bag. He was off the bag. Phenomenal hustle. Phenomenal. By Jack Amarada. He is all big hard. time. All hard. Yeah, I'll tell you, these guys are these guys are not happy. They're not, they're not going down. Coach struts out, trots, trots, trots out to the field. I mean, he is just not happy. Let's get him out of here, sir. <laughs> well, I have just got a text. This is good. Zach Wendell, why is he hitting so many dingers? And number one has been hitting doubles all game long. Number one has been hitting doubles. He, he might be D1. I don't know who this is, but as I've just... We're going to need some research. Number one on Gil St. Bernard. The number on the broadcast. Yeah, no, watch. and I appreciate you. 732-595-6687. All... Okay. Please, if you have any more comments, please continue to text me. All I got to do is, uh, number one, he is just not he's not in his groove. You know, it's all right. We all have those days. Just uh, It's not they're never good when they're in a state game. It's all good, Wendy. Two outs here. Oh, and Catches Nick Lembo almost gets obliterated, but he jumps out of the way. Incoming texts from Jake Pryor. This is a little awkward. Um, is Baylor Kreider in attendance? I don't see him. Um, it looks like mostly straight males in attendance today. I can't really get a. I can't really get a read. Anyway, it's good. Really push him we can say on camera, but I don't think we said anything too often. No, 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 that, wow. was, that was serious. John, John Testa. Testa, big yes, cut. please. Uh, Jack, what's that movie? Uh, one, one swing in the back and change the world. Yeah, uh, there's also another somewhere. one. I Mike, I watched it with Mike Brown one night, it was after a hockey game, and he Did went. He swing? Oh, they caught him on that. That is that's... and they leave two runners on. Well, listen, here's what probably going through the ref's head. I gave MK one, I gotta give it's these a, guys Jack, one. Jack, it's an ump, but keep going. Sorry, what did I say? You said ref. Sorry, I play a lot of uh, non-pastime sports. What up, Mike Brown? Michael Here we Brown go. Scene right He's now. dialed. Brooks Bear going to warm him up. Another stud freshman. You know what? They, they look good. I'll give them that. You know, I mean, might not be having the game they want. They're getting on base. Heading into the seventh. not scoring. I don't know. This, you know, and they don't look phased. They just don't. 
Yeah. Um, Nick Lembo trotting out. John Testa on his way out as well. Check the viewers. How many viewers we got? I'll tell you, we, we look good. Oh. Band concert look. tonight, A15. Oh <laughs> Carl Flocka will be um, attending that. Will you be taking pictures, Carl? I will not. I will be playing in it. So, Carl Flocka will be playing in the band concert. That's big time. Um, I needed to check. Um, the viewers. Viewers. That's what I was doing. What, what is hmm? 32 of you guys watching. Hope you're enjoying the show. How can you not be with these How dudes? can you not? Yeah, I mean, really, once again. I think we're, I think we're running um, Ethan Potash and Sebastian Seabach out of the room right now. I mean, like, it could just be me. Doc Flock needs my attention. Oh, boy. He needs my presence, so I might be turning the mic over to Ethan Potash. A luck, one lucky Brody Snyder. Brody Snyder. You're on the mic. No, he's not. I think we just handed. We back need some over. volunteers. Ethan Potash back on the mic with me. Wait. Did you mute this or is it still live? All right. Thank you guys. Uh, had a blast. Roll Cougs. All right, I'll be back on the mic, taking over for Carl Flacco, but Jack McAvoy still still with us as a guest commentator. Absolutely, I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a quick question, Potash. Do you like one headphones back? Uh, do you want Do you want to give me the headphones? Hey, yeah, take them. All right, sure. 21 at bat. Cougars certainly looking to find their groove. That one's up. I might have this one. Hold on. Wide. Heads up. Whoa. Almost caught Jake Rendino's uh, girlfriend in the head. That was a close call. I'm glad she's okay. On to the next. Nolan drives the pitch. Little low. What do we got for me, sir? Ball. Shelby Carter, no, nothing, nothing, I got nothing. That's all I got to say. My lips are sealed. That's all you got to say. Nolan jives the pitch. Yes, Nolan, that is good. I mean, this is disrespectful behavior from the, uh, like, like, take it. All right, Brody's off the mic. I thought, I mean, he stood up. That's good. We got 32 people watching. I mean, listen, I could, I, I could ask for more, but we, we look good. We did. We lost one. We lost a few. That pitch is high outside, but they look good. They look good. That's all I'm just going to say. They look good. Yeah, you know, this Gill team is just, they don't, they're not very classy. And I'm going to put their AD on the spot here. You should probably get these guys under control. This is a little, this is a little much. This is, yeah, I mean, really, I understand it's a, it's, it's, the whole game's a, it's a chirp game. I understand that, but this is just well, that, that level too. I mean, they're doing a chant. I get it, you guys got a lot of bench warmers, but get them under control. It's a state playoff game. I think we can cut them some slack. Yeah, you know, it's state playoffs, but, I mean, just get your players under control. Nolan looks down the line, the pitch. Good ball. Testa looking to lay out for it. It's down center field. He's looking to go home. 21 slid. There was the ball was not within 30 feet of him. Um, I guess he thought. Well, coaches, third third base coach is telling him the slide. I did catch that. Coming to the mound now, coming all together. They just got to talk him up a little, you know. That's sometimes that's what you need. You need a little reinforcement. These mics are really amazing. We can pick up what uh, the Gil Dugout is saying. Oh, what? 
Oh, okay. Um, thank you once again, 732-595-6687. I appreciate that, actually. It is back. Thank We're you back. for letting us know. Thank you. Thank well, you. I can explain what happened. I hit the overlay button on our iPad by accident, and it went away. But I just hit it again, and it is back. Thanks. Appreciate that. Pitch. It's a low ball. I mean, these kids are really just, they're out of hand, coach. Now, whoever that number is, are you, are you on our side or are you on Gil's side? Just let us know because we don't know who you are. I want to go Gil. I, 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 think, go I Gil. think it's a Gil fan too. I do, but listen, I've got nothing against you guys. Just I wish you guys just had your players under a little bit more control. I think they're... Yep, Nolan Jives puts a strike right down their throat. How you doing? Keep it up, Nolan! Get five! Right down their throat. That is what I like to see. Let's keep it clean, Potash. <laughs> Another strike, yes, please. Alumni walking in, uh, Mr. Panulo. He looks good, he looks fresh. Those shoes are hard. Mike Braun once again under it. Oh my God. Yes, please! No one drives, that was huge. That backup was huge. That was just a huge play. Mike Braun throwing it in. That was huge. Mike Braun with they the gun. Good. That was a cannon. Oh. What a double play. Flacco photo out. He misses it. You know he does. Could be the momentum changer that the Cougars need. That was huge, Potash. I really like that. He's still holding that sign up all around the Nolan looks it down. The pitch. He's stealing. Luca Seeger, he is dialed. Come on! He is having himself in it. Wow, he looks good. What up, bro? Yeah, we look good right now. This is a huge, this is a huge bottom of the inning. We're going to turn up. Cougars don't score three, this game is over, so we'll see if that inning changed the momentum at all. Let's get after it, Cougs. Yeah, the catcher's legit, huh? Vanderbilt, if you're watching, kid's good. Real good. need to do something big here. I have just unlocked a new little something here. I don't know what type of pizza we got. This looks legit. <laughs> Give me a pull. Give me a pull. This is veggie pizza. Uh, folks, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm hungry. I've been doing this for a while now. This was supposed to be a single half inning affair, wasn't it? It was, but I... It was, but he... Rangers are on at 8 tonight, folks. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a night. I know you're cutting. Are you announcing that too? I know you're cutting. Listen, I was cutting. Here I am with the Roosh. I think he's got something to say. I got absolutely nothing to say. Um, I just remember you saying that you were cutting because it was beater season, and now you munch it on pizza. Yeah, so that's a great point. Um... <laughs> I find myself once again in a little bit of a predicament. Um, yeah, listen, I eat when I eat, I feel good. I need my energy. Sometimes you just gotta munch. You know, talking, talking for a long time takes a lot of energy out of you. You need this pizza. Thank you, Pody. Let's go, Nick! Up a bat, minibus, Nick Lembo, the pitch, inside. The 
the pitch. Low ball. Morgan Riley cheering in the stands. Camera did pick that up. Camera did pick it up. That's always nice. 3 0 count here. Looks it down. The pitch. That is, that, I'm going to give it to him. That was, a, that was a hose. Got a new pitcher in the game. That we do. I don't know if he was pitching last game, to be honest, but. Hosed it, find the gap, run it out. And they catch him. They, you know, that doesn't even come down to speed. That's actually speed by the defensive players. That was a good play by the defense. I'll tell you, that 11 minibus Nick Lembo, he can move. He can Kid move. his size, he can move. <laughs> Gotta give it to him. He's motoring down that line. Run it off once, run it off. Jordan Fish back and Ben Morgenstein now leaving, giving the camera a wave. It's always nice to see these guys in attendance. Yeah, you got Lucas Seeger now, just had a big inning. South Orange reps. Lucas Seeger at the plate. The pitch. Low. Ball. Mr. Rosen in attendance, he looks dialed. Mr. Rosen comes to all the games. I remember seeing him at the Montclair Cup in the stands. We got a pop up. Heads up. Play tennis with that one. Oh, line drive. Just a bit outside. Arush once again has something to say, but uh, here he is. I got nothing to say. He's got nothing. Mike's in his face. He got a little red. He's got nothing. Camera shy. Yeah, no, it's all right. We all get it. <laughs> Easy. He's running it out. I like it. We've got one out here. This is huge. Cougars down to the final out. Not looking too good. You know, I never count him out. Yeah, never, never will. Count, never will. Never have. I believe in my in my boys. Got Eli Solomon now. Last hope. Eli Solomon at the plate. I like having him there. He's he's really reliable. He knows he knows how to get it done. Sorry, Brody Schneider, distracted me for a second. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> Looking it down. Pitch on its way. High ball. Not going to give it to him. 1 1. Looks it down. Down the line. Pitch. Strike two. Cougars down to their final strike. This is, you know what? The cookies are on the table. Now it comes down to who wants to eat more. Alive. Keeps it alive. Staying alive. Staying alive. Bow, 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 bow. Staying alive. Eli Solomon looks it up and down. Morgan thinks I should get personal. I'm going to keep it clean. Mom, if you're out there, more than happy to be home. I'll see you in a little while. Thinking about the VI for burgers if anyone wants to join. Little Rangers game. Gers and four. The pitch. Yes! Run it out. Eli, get there. There it is. That is the game. Well, thanks everyone for watching. More obnoxious actions from Gil. Nothing new.